Number one, he may very well place Keystone within a larger context of negotiations pertaining to NAFTA or the free trade agreement, if we go back to that. So that's number one. Number two, he's going to look at Keystone and make sure that from now on, all products and services relating to the Keystone build in the United States are 100 percent American goods and services, whereas in the past it was only 65 percent. Third, there may still be the possibility of an border export tax placed on Canadian energy into the United States. And that, of course, would affect TransCanada in terms of its calculations as whether or not this is going to be a worthwhile project for that. Number four, things have changed over the last few years. The um, Gulf Coast refineries, where Canadian heavy oil usually goes, are now switching over rapidly to accept light sweet crude from the Bakken and shale from Texas. And there's a question as to whether or not there's sufficient capacity in those refineries to accept Canadian heavy oil. So all those issues are intertwined. Fundamentally, Canada has to make a decision. Does it really want to export its oil from Alberta? And that's a message that the international market uh, is waiting for. Do you really want to export large volumes? And we all know you have the capacity to do so in the supply. Do you really want to export large volumes of crude to the Chinese and Asian markets? So far, the indications are lukewarm.